Hello, my name is Gina Porter, and I have the privilege of being the principal at Holy Family Catholic School in Galveston, Texas. This year, Holy Family School is celebrating its 175th anniversary. The school now sits on the site where the Ursuline Academy was founded in 1847 by a group of Ursuline nuns who came to Galveston from New Orleans, Louisiana. The school functioned in that building until 1961 when Hurricane Carla came to the island and the original building was unfortunately demolished. On that exact, exact site where we are today stands Holy Family Catholic School. Through the years, before the school became known as Holy Family Catholic School, it had a variety of names. But in 2008, it became Holy Family Catholic School when all the churches on the island were united to become Holy Family Catholic Parish. The school was run by Ursula nuns until the late 80s, and at that point, most of the faculty positions were held by lay people, um, and that continues today, although right now we do have one nun on our staff, Sister Juliana. Here at Holy Family, our vision and our mission is to form our students into future saints and scholars. In order to focus on the scholar part of our mission, we really work on targeting our education to meet the needs of each student. We're fortunate to have small class sizes so that teachers have the time to really focus on each student and what their needs are. We use the data from the NWEA math, map growth assessment to give us data to tell us exactly what each student needs. We're fortunate also to have a reading interventionist and a math interventionist who work with the teachers to make sure that the needs of each student in math and reading are met exactly the way that the student needs. We are a um, stream synergy school and every month, every student in the building visits the stream lab at least once and meets a challenge that has been set for that month. One month, every student in the building uh, developed a boat and tested it. One month, every student in the building devised a bridge. One month, every student in the building uh, designed a car. So we um, work to meet the challenge of the month, but also to use the stream uh, room to help students develop their creativity and to help them apply the things that they have learned in their classrooms. We also are developing a leveled, uh, leveled literacy library for our students where we will have books that are uh, leveled so that we can target each student's exact reading level and give them practice at their instructional level so that they can grow and become better readers by uh, reading these books that are targeted to their level. Our theme this year is to be the hands and feet of Christ. And so in addition to our religion class that we have each day, we also have a, an opportunity for students to be the hands and feet of Christ through a service project. We have done things like uh, to create uh, baby blankets that we took to the Pregnancy Help Center, as well as taking donations of items that moms and babies can use um, in that first year of life. And we took those to the Pregnancy Help Center. We have collected toiletries and snacks and taken them to our daily bread here on the island. We have also um, collected food to take for um, holiday meals for those who are not able to uh, get those special holiday meal ingredients for themselves. We have also uh, written cards to those in the service and um, delivered cards to those who are homebound through the homebound ministry of Holy Family Parish. And so we, we've been looking for any opportunity to really bring home to the students the fact that we are the hands and feet of Christ here on earth and that it's our mission to serve others, to serve everyone around us. Here in Galveston, we are very aware 
that we have a, an amazing legacy here on the island of Catholic education. And we are fortunate to have a very active alumni association from the uh, original campus here in Galveston. And we have many people who visit the school and tell us what an impact this school had on their lives and on the lives of their children. And we treasure that legacy. We treasure the fact that we are an integral part of this community. And even more than that, we look forward to continuing the legacy and to bring this school forward to serve generations to come here in Galveston. My name is Father Jude Ekenedilichuku Ezuma. I am pastor and rector of Holy Family Parish and St. Mary's Cathedral Basilica, as well as pastor of Holy Family Catholic School. As Holy Family Parish, we feel blessed to have a school a school that has a very rich history, a history that goes as far back as 1847. But what is even more impressive is that this is many years of creating spiritual legacies for those who come through our doors. So our school is an integral part of the mission of the school because we strive to listen to what Christ said let the children come to me. So the parish partners with the school to ensure that we continue to create spiritual legacy for those who come through our schools. As we read from Proverbs chapter 22, verse six, train a child in the way he should go and he will grow up never to depart from it. So through religious instructions, teaching them about the example of the saints, making sure that our school is where our children continue to learn about the primacy of God in life, learning how to pray, preparing for sacraments, and even children who may not be Catholics, but come to our school, experience that this is a place where God takes a very central role. And so our goal is to partner with the school to help form students who are both saints and scholars. I'm a product of Catholic education myself from middle school up to graduate level. And I remember fondly all the spiritual legacies that was impressed upon me when it comes to the importance of prayer, of the place of God in life. That's what we want to impress upon the students who come through our school. And so yes, the parish continues to partner with the school because we see it as a very important part of our mission as a parish. And as pastor of Holy Family Parish, I see it as a privilege to continue to work with the parish community, with our staff at the school, our principal, to continue to ensure that all of the children who come through our doors experience the love of God and are helped to grow into saints and scholars Thank you to, thanks to all those who continue to support this important mission. And my prayer is that God will bless all of you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.